so what's up everybody welcome to another video today we are going to create this pure css loading animation so you can see that we have a loader here and this is a loading animation and it's looking good actually so in this video we will make it and hope you will like it so no more talk let's dive into it so today is the day 21 of our 30 days 30 submits challenge so for the day 21 we are going to create css loading animation and if you are interested to check out this repo i will link it in the description where you can find all the interesting submits that i did in this 30 days 30 submits challenge so if you come to this repo please give it a star and i will appreciate it so let's go to the code here so in our html file first of all let's create a boilerplate here and in the body we'll have a section and in the section we will have a div with a class of container so container and in this container i will have a h1 where i will have my loading text so it can be anything so i will have just loading and also i will also have this three dot as you can see so if i save and refresh as you can see that that's my loading text and also let's link my css here so it will link the css and in our style.css first of all let's remove all the unexpected gap so padding will be zero and also let's say that margin will be zero and box sizing will be border box and as you can see that i don't have any kind of extra gap anymore so after that let's say that in the body i will have font family so font family will be the Montserrat so Montserrat and if I save as you can see that the Montserrat font is already applied because I already installed this Montserrat font in my PC so I don't need to import it so after that let's come here in the section here let's say that the mean height will be 100 VH and also the width will be 100% and also let's say that display will be flex so flex and align items center and justify content so justify content will be also center so as you can see that now our content which is this loading text in the center and after that let's also apply a background color so background color will be allies blue for our background so as you can see the background is changed so after that let's come to the container so dot container and here let's say that the padding will be about 20 pixel for our top and bottom and 40 pixel for the left and right and also let's have a border here so border 2 pixel solid black so now as you can see that we have a border here and after that let's have some letter spacing so letter spacing will be 10 pixel so now you can see that we have the letter spacing in our loading text so after that let's say that the text transform will be uppercase font size will be let's make it 24 pixel so it's looking good and now what i need actually i need to create a pseudo element so dot container so after and here let's say that the content will be empty and the position will be absolute so make sure that the parent of the pseudo element which is the container have the position relative so after that let's also say that the height will be 100% and the width will be also 100% so after that let's also come here and say that left 0 and top 0 and also let's have a background color of black so background color will be black and now you can see that we have a black container which is the after pseudo element and what i can do actually i can change the width of these pseudo elements so let's make it 10 percent and you can see that now the width of this pseudo element is 10 percent of our this full container so what we will do actually we will animate this so in the initial state the width of this 
sword element will be the zero and we will animate it and make it 100 so let's get the animation for the sword element so keyframes and the name of the animation so let's give it something like load rbg so load rbg so and here i can say something like in our 100 percent i will have the width of not this the width the width will be 100 percent and what i can do now i can apply it in our sword element so animation and here let's say the name of the animation which is the loader bg and let's say that three second animation and it will be a linear and also we will have the infinite time and also it will be alternate and i made a typo here so loader so if i save as you can see that the animation is already happening and it's looking good and the last thing i need actually i need a mix blend mode here so in our sword elements let's have this so mix blend mode and for this i will use difference so if i give it difference and if i save we can't see anything because we need to change our background so if i change the background and make it white now you can see that we have our animation and it's looking good and you can see that with this mix blend mode difference it's looking really amazing so in the mix blend mode what is happening actually you can see that we have a dark this text as you can see here so but when we are using this mix blend mode it's making the text white as you can see so basically what it will do when you use mix blend mode in any kind of element it will subtract the dark color from the text or from the element so we have the dark text as you can see so it's actually removing the dark color from the text and making it white so that's why when you use this mix blend mode as you can see that the text is changing its color from the dark to the light so that's what it does this mix blend mode it will subtract the dark color from the colors that we have in our text or in the element i hope you learned something and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel because i make this kind of website related video so to see those upcoming videos please subscribe the channel and my name is arfan and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye kudahafis